So the last video we did, we talked about inequalities in a triangle. Today we're going to talk about inequalities in two triangles. The concepts are very similar. <clears throat> so to begin, if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle and the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. I keep giggling because it's just, there's so many words going on. So if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle. So we're looking at these two triangles here, <clears throat> RST and ABC, and we see we've got these lovely congruent markings here, right? So those two sides are congruent. Those corresponding sides are congruent. The thing that's different is the angle between them. Okay, so let's say this is triangle RST. It's triangle RST, and I'm not gonna change the lengths of the sides, the blue pencils, and let's say that this right here is 80 degrees. If I don't change anything except for that angle, and now I make it 60 degrees, the side across from it gets smaller. So see the side across from it is bigger with 80 degrees, smaller with 60 degrees. This is called the hinge theorem because it's like, you know, the angle is on a hinge, like opening a door. Okay, <clears throat> the flip side of that is also true. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the third side in the first is, I need purple, longer than the third side in the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. So this time we're just looking at it from the perspective of the side. So if this side gets bigger, then the angle across from it gets bigger, as long as these two are congruent, the corresponding sides are congruent. So if we look at these two triangles, we've got the congruent markings. So the two sides of the two triangles are congruent. 36 is bigger than 33. So the angle across from 36 is bigger than the angle across from 33. So let's put this into practice and see where it takes us. Compare the given measures. Okay, so GF and FE. So we wanna compare GF and FE. Which one's bigger, which one's smaller? Well, we have two congruent sides. So let's look at the congruent side. So this says those two sides are congruent and then they share a side also. See this side that they share? So we have two triangles with two corresponding congruent sides. So now we can just compare the angles. So 28 and 22, 28 is bigger. So that means GF is greater than FE because 28 degrees is greater than 22 degrees. Okay, let's try this one over here. PQ and RQ. So what are we comparing here? We've got PQ and RQ. Okay, now they haven't given us congruent markings, but we know that those two sides are congruent because they're both seven. And like the last one, they, whoops. Like the last one, they share the side. So we've got corresponding congruent sides. Now we just have to compare the angles. So it's 95 and 85. So 95 is greater than 85. So across from 95, that's PQ, is greater than what's across from 85, which is RQ. Let's try the next one. CBD and ABD. So now we're looking at angles. So we're looking at CBD, this little guy in here, and ABD, this little guy here. Again, we're all, we're all set up with the corresponding congruent sides. So now we just have to look at the angles. We're gonna look straight across from the angles. C 
see which side is bigger. So we've got 13 is less than 16, which means that angle CBD is less than, well, it kind of looks like an angle measure, angle ABD. Angle CBD is less than angle ABD. One more of these. Hmm. Measure of STR and the measure of TRU. STR, that's that guy. And the measure of TRU, that's that guy. So we do have corresponding size. Look at 22 and the one that they share. Now we can look across. So R goes to 30, T goes to 31, which means STR, angle STR is greater than TRU. Okay, now this next part says, write an inequality for the range of values of X. What does that mean? I'll show you. So here we have X. It's right there. And we've got two triangles, corresponding sides that are congruent. Then we've got 75 on this triangle and 72 on this triangle, which means that the thing across from 75, DE, is bigger than what's across from 72. Okay, so 45 has to be less than 2x minus 5 because 72 is less than 75. Now we solve for x. Add 5 to both sides. 50 is less than 2x. Divide both sides by 2, so x is less than 25. So that's what X can be. Anything less than 25 would make that a true set of triangles. Let's do this last one. So here we have the X value here, and we're gonna compare it to this 30 that's here. We have our corresponding sides, the sixes, and then the one that they share. So now we'll look at angle 50, and angle 60. So let's just look straight across from those. So across from angle 60 is the 30, the measure of 30. Across from angle 50 is 4x plus 2. So across from angle 60 is bigger. So 30 has to be bigger than 4x plus 2. Again, we'll solve for x. Track two from both sides. So we've got 28 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4, and x equals 7. That's it. Thanks for being here.